Hello Zero K fans and welcome to an exhibition match between Icons and the Sponge on Adamantine Mountain. I am Shadow Fury CC3 and joining me today is Yeah, it's Flores like that's been a long time. And I apologize for Flores' audio quality. There's a it's New Year's. Kind of on vacation, so bit of a sudden thing, but he was on, so I figured let's do this. So anyway, I... speaking of doing this, let's begin. So, Sponge starting at the south side of the map, and Ikens is starting out at the north side of the map. Going for Cloakies, and both players are going for Cloakies. That's usually an interesting matchup, and also a very uh, predictable. It's a kind of a Cloakie. Although, interestingly, what about their commanders? Interestingly, it looks like the Sponge is going for five Glaze before his first worker, which is unusual. Don't you think? Uh, no, actually, it's not. Oh, really? I think you can. Oh, really? no, you can uh, really put down structure on your opponent if you uh, start out with five. You can uh, have your commander make the uh, all the max. Okay, because I was under the impression that three was kind of this way to go. You can kill the others three if you uh, have five yourself, and the other guy has a structure. Okay, well that's good. You to can know. pick five, so you can push it, uh, keep him back. That's the idea. But I'm not sure if you thought about it that deeply. <laughs> Well, mainly what I'm thinking about in terms of you get three, and then you get a worker, and then you have enough to defend while you expand. So I can see five, I guess, working for a really early game assault, which is exactly what the sponge is going for, or at least he appears to be going for. Hanging out one of the geothermal plants right on the hill here, but we'll probably very soon go for the attack and hitting Icons, but Icons does have a laser turret. It's just not defending one of the metal extractors. Looks like the sponge, however, losing one of his glaives, though. Yeah, sponge is about to. He got a. Yeah. And nice. nicely done. So he's got four glaives up there, and Ikins going for a counterattack. Looks like Ikins will have much more resistance, though. Ikins should have moved his commander a little bit closer to those glaives. Indeed, he's lost he's idling, he's idling with his own glaives now. He's it's hard for him to manage both those fights uh, at the same time. It looks like he's much more focused on the fight to the south, which is not going especially well. The laser turret is stopping that. Uh, exactly. So the sponge uh, has some yeah, just, just, just quick uh, check at which uh, second of the game are you? Which timer? Two minutes, eight seconds. Oh, perfect. So anyway, looks like the sponge, continuing along with what he had before, definitely getting a lot of overdrive economy going. Or pushing for it, not yet, obviously. Needs full energy for that. Only oh, definitely. Fun. Only has an empty energy bar at this point. Yeah, the sponge is... Uh, as was stalling energy for a bit, and now it's a full metal lab bar. Yeah, see, that's what's concerning yeah. about the five glaives, because with five glaives, you end up with... Well, once you get the worker out, it could stall very quickly. He could use uh, some... Re he could also uh, stop the cloak of the constructor, which is the default setting of the constructor, but it eats up uh, energy you could use uh, elsewhere. That's a good point. Also, the trees. There's a lot of trees. Uh, definitely. Those I was about to say that. <laughs> 25 energy each, and they're everywhere. It's not quite Cooper Heal ridiculous levels, but it's still pretty full of reclaim. Looks like Ikens is going for a nice little expansion over the east side of the map. The sponge expanding much more safe. Wow, a really safe expansion. Look at the shift click on it. You've got tons of power plants just surrounding these metal extractors, as well as laser turrets on each one. The sponge yeah, is really Yeah, that seems to be Sponge's trademark. <laughs> paranoia? Well, that's certainly something, I suppose. Unit under attack. Oh, yeah. It looks like I was already spectating this game uh, in a previous... Uh... <laughs> and making some comments already. So any comments on your previous comments? comments? <laughs> oh. Yes. That commander won't get with those slaves. Or not. Wow. Putin has wow. an opportunity That's here. A nice... Oh, nice micro there. Getting rid of the laser but not able to get rid of the metal extractor, which is what really counts. He should have focused it, he wasn't uh, focusing. No, it looks like he's mainly selected units in his main base. About half a dozen, or about a full dozen ra No! What am I saying? He's got... He's got a dozen glaives coming down in the south, and another... He has 22 glaives in total. Yeah, that's a lot. Oh, never mind, yeah, sorry. I, that's, uh... There's 22 glaives in the game in total. Control Z doesn't differentiate by team. Oh, and, that's a tick hit. Nice tick by the sponge. Unfortunately, no follow-up. Well, it's Excellent. a bit of follow-up, but it's just... Too By late. the time it comes I... in, yeah, it'll be five seconds left. 
and the water is already in place. Yeah, that that was a bit of a bust. I mean, nice tick blow up, but didn't have the follow-up forces in there in time. And Ikens continue to push along with the wa warriors and the sponge continuing along with glaives. Well, it's maybe important to note out that Ikens now has a big energy soul going. Good metal expansion made no energy after his initial uh, solar collectors. You're right, he didn't. He only has 14 energy income while the sponge is 27 and is actually overdriving at this point. So the sponge's metal extractors in the main base are at 3.5 compared to 2.5. As as Ikens is coming in, losing all of his glaives, not dealing any damage, hitting a few glaives here and there, but basically losing all of his for free. Yeah, this is a big loss for Ikens. That is huge. Not just a big loss for Ikens. I mean, that's Ikens was actually managing to get where he was partly because of the reclaim from the sponge's early attack, and now the sponge has basically gotten all that advantage for him. And oh, a caretaker coming up too. Coming. That is going to eat it all up. The only, uh, exactly. the only, the only thing that should be comforting the sponge or uh, comforting Icons right now is the fact that the sponge has been flooding metal, and the caretaker won't really help. The reclaim will largely be wasted unless, nope. The caretaker's pushing the factory first, so it looks like it won't be quite so wasted. Now, what I would like to know is if the sponge knows about those uh, metal extractors in the right corner. <clears throat> well, let's see. Well, let's On the see. sponge. He does not have any vision there, and I don't think he's actually sent any units there, so I'd say no, he probably doesn't. Because that's those glaives have the perfect opportunity now to uh, raid that. Yeah, they, they sure do. I mean, Death, the radar tower just coming up there as well, so at this point, Ikens won't be able to see up the mountain. I'm pretty sure the radar tower will have Shadow on there. Let's see. No, not nearly enough. Ikens is able to see via both of his radar towers that there is, in fact, glaives lined up right at the top hill area, waiting to attack. And Rockos as well, but mostly Glaives. Mostly Glaives. I like how Sponge is anticipating the uh, ticks. Oh? oh? He's not sending everything down, he's just scouting with one. Ah, yes, that is true. Looking for defense, ah. looking for ah. ticks. Unfortunately, that's not the biggest problem, is it? It's the Warriors, really. Though, Rockos are doing a nice chase off on that Warrior. Oh, he's attacking with the tick. No, that was a waste. Yeah, they only got half of the Rockos, and even then, the Warrior is not in a good position to deal with them all. Unfortunately, not enough follow-up forces. Once again, both players... Yeah, oh, tick is coming. There we go, that's a better tick job. Getting rid of everything. Rid of well, okay, one of the Rockos is left, but the rest of them are completely destroyed. That was a wonderful play by Icons right there. Yeah, that was a bunch coming from Zeus, but that... Actually, quite a few Zeus's. In fact, the Sponge has... Okay, the Sponge and Icons are both pushing their factories pretty hard, so the production capacity is about the same. But that Zeus seems to be making up for that tick loss. Exactly, it was the exact uh, reverse situation, but this time with bigger armies and more ticks. Now, I was about to say, where is Icons' tick? I don't see any of Icons' and ticks. He doesn't have any more ticks. Why not? Why not? I mean, he's, he's comfortable with the units he has at the moment. I guess Rockos would be useful against the Zeus's, that is true. But it's going to be difficult for him to push back, and given more Zeus's are forthcoming. Actually, wait. Yeah, there's one already in the middle of the map that's coming in, and the other Zeus about to go down, but at the same time, the Glaive's coming in to tear apart all the Rockos. The Warrior trying to, do, trying to do what it can, but can't do too much, and the Rockos getting torn to shreds, taking a couple losses, but that's about oh, it. Oh, However, tick move once again. Yeah, this is uh, where it's hard to micro your units in big groups if, when you're fighting on slopes. You want to line move, but they'll still uh, clump up because they have to go for this choke point, this one possible spot. I'm a bit surprised that I, that the sponge hasn't just been setting up some Rockos on the top ledge and then keeping some glaives just in case stuff comes up, but using the Rockos primarily for attacking. Just because that way we wouldn't have to worry about the choke point, you'd just be able to fire off directly. Yeah, exactly. It's also... But looks like that's exactly we, what he has They're both right. very yeah. focused on one point on the map. They're not really spreading their attention, it seems. Which is not entirely surprising. It's very easy to get caught up in one area of the map, especially since both players are focusing on it, so I guess they figure if one of them stops focusing, the other one will take it. But then, at the same time... That's a bit of sloppy control. Yeah, there we go. Now we see that Rock was being used the way that, that helps at the slopes. Most of the glaciers are pushing through. 
I don't think he can get through at this point. Well, that's, okay, the oh, sponge okay. was on the ground. He had a flank from the flank south from the against south. the okay. Rockos. That probably would have been useful. Well, the commander is going to the right now. He's doing an attack on his own. Doing a pretty good job, too. Yeah, oh. It's, oh. it's level zero, but it's good enough for an LT. Indeed. What? Ikens is building LLTs he could do a lot with that one. He's building a lot. Lotus is in the center of the slope. What? And granted, he's getting a lot of reclaim. That's good, but still. There goes another tick. And no follow-up forces, unfortunately. Oh, well, his follow-up forces are coming, but slowly. It, to me, this looks like they uh, they have the, the right ideas and the right intentions, but they lack the speed of mouse and a unit control to execute everything the way they want to. Perhaps. I wonder if, I'm, if they're using hotkeys at all, like control groups. Control group. For example, a factory exit point and... Uh... Oh yeah, the factory exit point is right in the center of that fight. Let's see if Sponge is also accessing metal like he usually does. He I think he's for metal. about a minute, yeah. He has been accessing metal for most of this game. Going for an air switch, here. but yeah, like I said, that was yeah, the I one comfort for Ikens, but all of his forces being reclaimed is that the sponge wouldn't be able to use a lot of that metal. His but switch to air might uh, gain him back some uh, some ground. I think the switch to air will probably win in the game at this point. I mean, it's been a bit of a stalemate, but the sponge has been consistently ahead. Now, Ikens is getting metal because of the reclaim. He's getting a lot of metal income, which is going to help a lot. But one or two well-placed napalm bombers, and that should finish it. Oh, definitely. Do you uh, use the um, uh, advanced player list widget with the army value, defense value? I do something? indeed. Although I would like to have a better spectator widget. And it's something kind of on my to-do list and on my two bug crazy idiot about list. But I've already taken care of bug crazy idiot about it. It's just also a much bigger army value now, and also uh, almost double the income of Sponge. Actually, the army value looks about the same. Both of them are about 4.9 or 4.5 or so thousand. But yeah, the double economy is definitely going to come in handy. Though, like I said, that's entirely reclaim. Granted, there's yeah, the a lot of reclaim. Yeah, seems to update it, a, bit, uh, a bit late at times. But let's not discuss widgets. Let's discuss the game. <laughs> yeah, good idea. And a shadow. What interesting yeah, choice. Yeah, nice Phoenixes, but we'll get rid of the well, Zeus. But the Phoenixes would get rid of all those Rockos. Still, uh, those warriors and Zeus's are the biggest threat. Oh, you that's true. Yeah, yeah the gla a bunch of glaze would get rid of the rockers pretty quickly. You have a point. Unit Although at this point, Icons doesn't have a whole lot of warriors and Zeus's up. Zeus. He has three now warriors and one Zeus. Zeus. You can see the attack move on the ticks, which is usually not a good idea. Oh, you want to? Ah, uh... uh, yeah, I do see that. You actually, usually wants to do that manually. I don't know, the sponge is doing some nice micromanagement with those ticks. But unfortunately, two of them in the oh, same goodness. spot, that's not going to help out too much. <laughs> They're just there to scare the rogues away. They don't need so. to explode. Oh, uh, this is a nice attack, nice defense by, uh, by sponge. Indeed, those users are actually doing a great job. Tick, there we go, one of the ticks goes off and takes out a lot of the rockos. And the other and one and the other one on the waist. Kind of waste. Kind of waste. Well, it's good enough. Yeah, definitely. Got rid of half the Rockos, and that's huge. Iken still has a huge amount of production, though. A huge amount of... Is all his production going into his factory? No, not even then. No, right? Is uh, Iken's doing to uh, stop the air? That's his biggest problem at the moment. Well, he doesn't... I don't see any Jethro's coming up yet, and that, Warriors that aren't war not going to hit them, because, of course, they're not that low. Really handy against Gunships, though. Uh, he's not doing. He's not making jetters at all. Indeed, not no hex saws, no uh, chainsaws, no nothing. See hex saws and chainsaws in one v one though. Sometimes, if you're if I'm facing bombers like this, oh well. Sometimes... Actually, hold that thought. The sponge coming in with a bunch of shadows trying to take out the cloaking factory or the caretakers beside them. Getting rid of the com actually taking out both the caretakers at the same nice. time. That is going to be huge. Icons no longer has any production. Go it just has ten metal income into that factory. So his, his production speed has just been immediately quartered, or possibly thirded, but massively reduced nonetheless. Very, very, very nice move by the sponge. And an, a phoenix finally up, just to get rid of the stragglers at this point. 
Well, despite this uh, this bombing run, he still has an army on the lower left to deal with. That's true, and the sponge is not able to deal with that very well. He has no rearm pad, so he can't easily get all these planes back up and running. It's kind of a one-shot yeah, attack. Kind of one attack. He has so many now, he really needs uh, to use this amount of bombing. And a smite, slight waste on the Phoenix didn't quite hit, hit one of the warriors and will take it out, but didn't unfortunately hit much else. And the Zeus's, however, are dealing with everything else. However, the Kalikabad factory is still up. There were still a bunch of Rectors that were just being built. So at this point, at Icons this... has reclaimed, has re got uh, reacquired his production capacity of before, and in fact is stalling on metal. As a result, he might want to reclaim his his old commander and rebuild the metal extractors in his base. Yeah, that's true. He did actually lose a metal extractor to that attack. That's a good point. And Zeus is coming in. I think at this point, the Sponge. It's still holding off very nicely. He should focus on the right side now. It's This is the perfect time. Yeah, he is aware of that. That's true. He, he is fully aware that the right side exists, at least partially. But I think he's... Where is he focused, actually? This camera's currently focused entirely on his own base, his own production. I don't think he's focused very much on the attack. No, most of no, are dead now. now. He's sending some forces in, but that's all he's selecting. He's not focusing on his commander or building up with his... Well... I don't think he has any Rectors on the field, to be honest. I think he must, might have one. He has one in his base, a couple off to the left, but he's not focused on moving out your right to the right. That is not helping him, nor is he focused on even just exploring that. No reason. Both players don't know what to do. The the heat <laughs> went away. Indeed. Oh, there's a rearm pad. Okay, so the sponge is getting a rearm pad. He is definitely focused on getting his air going properly, but it's a little bit late for that. He could use that uh, nano turret to, to finish it, is it and set its part. Is it in range? Priority. I think it is. Oh, I suppose that would help, yeah, but on the other hand, he has to actually tell it to do that, and clearly he's very focused on his napalm bomber and focused on losing a rector as I can... Again, I yeah. can continues to push in on the bottom left. That is a pretty hard push, and at this point, Ikens has reclaimed it, or not reclaim so much. Actually, he is, he is reclaiming. He's reclaiming his way back to a good economy, right at the center of the map. He got his commander wreckage, so that was this little influx of units uh, you saw there. But not just that, he currently has still double the income of the sponge. So that yep. is that huge. Once again, the sponge is falling behind. His only trump cards the fact that he has a ton of planes, and Ikens doesn't seem to be too concerned about taking them out of the sky. No, he hasn't made any attempt yet to stop those uh, air units. Although, at this point, it's actually not working out too badly for him. I mean, with the rearm pad, it will become scary, but up until that point, really, he's losing a few units here and there, but he does have a lot of forces coming in. Coming in. That I think it's, that a, it's a meat stop. grinder. It is a meat grinder, but the thing is, is that it's a meat grinder that the sponge isn't supplying as well as he could be on the ground. Focused very heavily in the air, not very focused on the ground, and that means that Icon's units will gradually get closer and closer and gradually tear apart the sponge's base. Yeah, so, like, once, once the rear arm pad comes up, that'll be a problem. Once the rear comes up, that'll be a problem. They would have done that better if they had a little bit of anti air with them. That's true. A couple Jethro's would have gone a long way. The oh, do you see the synth? Do. That's yeah. nice. He's going to snipe, trying to snipe the, the nano turrets, I think. Well, that's the sites are. No, they're going. Where are those sites going? Icons sites are doing weird things. They're on a tech move. Yeah, but no, they're now they're out. Enough. Okay, More. now they're going to the caretaker because there's. It's gonna be really hard for them to get in without decloaking. And they have been <laughs> spotted. They're going for the air factory. They've been spotted. They're going for the air factory. And they are going. Ooh, to, and they are going to, going to make it. Going to make it. No, that was a waste. <laughs> but I mean, if he bombed I mean, his own factory. Although this bunch surrendered nonetheless from burning his own base down. Okay, well that was the weirdest well, way, to end, weirdest the way to end the game. <laughs> so I guess we'll have another one for you guys shortly, and then stay tuned. That was a nice game, though. Indeed, it was. What the heck just happened? <laughs> Did you crash again? Oh no, I didn't crash. I'm just saying, what the heck just happened? The sponge is being. Okay, that was just, that was certainly interesting. Anyway, back in a moment. <laughs> 